Muslim refugees rape five-year-old Idaho girl, judge punishes her parents with sick order. Last summer, five-year-old Jayla Peterson yes, just five years old exclamation mark was orally and anally raped and then urinated upon by three Muslim migrant boys, two from Iraq one from Sudan, in the town of Twin Falls, Idaho as one of the boys videoed the attack. As unthinkable, as heinous, as disgusting as that act was, what has played out in an American courtroom afterwards is perhaps even worse. Of all the quotes and sayings from America's founding, there's one known to almost all of our citizens, it ends with injustice for all. Images of a blindfolded Lady Liberty holding the scales of justice, supposedly, symbolize the fact that the American judicial system does not see age, color or creed. The judge in this tragic case seems to have tossed all that, with a shocking decision on the guilt of the attackers and then a gag order for everyone involved. There's a politically correct cover-up going on, and it's despicable. Pamela Geller from Jihad Watch wrote the following account of the courtroom drama. Judge Thomas Forison of Idaho's 5th Judicial District ordered the little victim's parents, Lacey and Levi Peterson, to say nothing to anyone, ever about what was said in the courtroom Tuesday, or to disclose the sentence that he gave to the savage attackers. He didn't allow them to say that they were unhappy with the sentencing, but threatened to jail them for contempt of court if they disclosed why they were unhappy with it. But even though the victim's parents were not allowed to talk to me, there were 12 to 15 people in the courtroom who saw and heard the whole sorry business. I was nevertheless informed of what happened by an anonymous source inside the courtroom, and the more I heard, the more I understood why this judge wanted to keep all the proceedings secret. Janice Koger, the senior deputy prosecuting attorney, who was supposed to be trying these boys for their crimes, defended the boys and repeatedly attacked Lacey, the victim's mother. A therapist for the boys was present, as well as a parole officer and a detective. Everything that was said was designed to portray the perpetrators as victims. Throughout the proceedings, they were repeatedly called victims, and the youngest one was called the biggest victim of them all. The court heard all about how the attackers are doing well in school, and about how smart they are. They were praised for the supposed ordeal they had to go through. It was claimed that all three are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, from having to go through courtroom proceedings. All three boys were sentenced, one after the other. All three were given probation. They were not found guilty of rape, but of sexually lewd conduct. They were given no jail time. Jeller's second-hand account of the proceedings is given corroboration by World Net Daily, and multiple other news sources, following a sentencing hearing Monday at the Snake River Juvenile Detention Center in Twin Falls. Judge Thomas Forison of Idaho's 5th Judicial District issued a gag order preventing everyone in the courtroom from saying anything about the sentence received by the boys. We all know what's going on here. The liberal obsession with protecting the reputation of Islam has once again allowed a precious, innocent child to be violated and forever scarred because speaking the truth about what happened might be spreading Islamic hate. At this point we can only hope that Idahoans organize, rise up and get this judge removed. Losing his job is nowhere near justice for what this little girl endured, but it's a start, a start.